Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and today we're going to be talking about pen tips or nibs. So the pen tips nibs come in a lot of different varieties, and I think it's important to understand what they do, what they don't do, what do they affect, and uh, what myths are there out there about the different pen tips and nibs uh, that exist. Uh, they are typically made, the nice ones are made of an elastomer, which is a blend of plastic and rubber. And yes, I did have to look that up. So the tips come in a couple different varieties. So here you can see there's 2H, there's HB, and there's B. Now, as far as what these actually do, I'll go through some, some physical tests. We'll see what they do on the screen and what they affect. Uh, a little history, the naming mechanism for these 2H, HB, and B is based off of uh, graphite pencils. So drawing pencils have different hardnesses and softnesses, that's a word maybe, that explain uh, how the pen applies the lead to the paper. So H stands for hard, B stands for black, and HB stands for hard black. So this is the hard black nib that you insert into the tip of your stylus. Yes, that's what it actually is. So the hardness is going to put a lighter grayer stroke on a piece of paper. And the B, the softer lead, is going to put a blacker, softer, um, less um, mechanical looking, uh, softer edges because the lead is softer uh, on your paper. Is that how these nibs work? Nope, not at all. Not, not, not even a little bit. So what is the actual differences between these? I, I think 2H be best, it would be best to describe this as the ballpoint pen feel. So when you're writing on the screen with your stylus, let's grab my size. This is my favorite one right here. Um, beautiful one, R520 from Renacer, and uh, this one has cleaner lines than the Surface Pen. Let's see, Surface Pen. I'm using the exact same nib in both of these, and I have a uh, 2H or H nib on this one, and an HB, went, uh, HB nib on this one. So you can see these are the 2017 stylus from Microsoft. Do these affect pressure? No, no. Even the hard ones, you're not going to get a lighter press on the screen. Uh, it doesn't affect. Uh, if it does, it's, it's very, very nominal. I can't tell. Uh, and I'm um, pretty focused on trying to, <laughs> to tell if it actually makes a difference or not. All right, so... Here we have the pack, the 2H ballpoint pen feel. And this is how, this is the friction, the traction, the grit, the, the way that the pen feels on the screen. There's a little bit more friction, just how it feels. It slides like a ballpoint pen if you're using the 2H, the plasticky 2H nib or tip. The HB1 is the one I prefer, and it has more of that pencil feel. So there's a little bit more grip on the screen. I, I wouldn't, it's not sticky, but you can tell that it's a little bit more rubbery. Um, and it has a really nice feel to it. I actually like the way it feels. It doesn't just slide on the screen. It has that paper on, uh, or pencil on paper feel to it. The B uh, it's like a black version of the HB. I can't tell any difference at all. The HB and the B, one of the things that you want to keep in mind uh, is there's a pretty big difference in the noise that the stylus makes on the screen. So let's take these two. You can see my two styluses here. And let's put them on the screen here and we'll listen to it. Uh, let's see here. Take a listen. You can hear the birds in the background. Now if I'm just drawing, you 
it's, they're magnetically attaching to each other. My fake handwriting. So the HB one is, is dramatically, in my opinion, is dramatically quieter. Uh, none of them are as loud as like a, as like an Apple pencil, uh, which is very loud and clacky, but the, the um, 2H one is probably the closest to that type of a sound. And um, I, I, those little things bother me. I'm not sure if, uh, if I'm weird like that, but I, I don't want to feel like I'm uh, annoying or drawing attention to myself if I don't want to be. All right, let's go ahead and jump into some pen tests on the screen so you can see what the differences are. Okay, so this is my uh, test so far that I did. Uh, I went through uh, a couple sets of different types of nibs with a couple different pens. So the first test here is with the R520. Um, the second one is with the silver, not the black, the silver um, Microsoft Surface Pen 2017. Again, this is a single button pen. Um, both of them are the same thing. But that's this test right here. And then I used the old uh, Raphael stylus uh, before the R520, which has, you can see, a little bit of uh, it ramps up. So pressure starts low and then ramps up. And you can see these ones have consistent pressure the whole time. Uh, anyway, I thought having a couple different ones here and then showing what the differences are between those different ones, and then uh, a little bit of actual demonstration of them on the screen so you can actually see it. Uh, for me, it's like I needed to see this firsthand to understand and believe that there was no real difference between the two. So here, I'll go through these. All, the, all of these, by the way, you're gonna get lower jitter by zooming in in pretty much every single program. So here, what I did is when I did these tests, I made sure that these two lines were equal to the width of these two buttons right here. I kept my hand in the same spot, put my palm on the screen, and every single one I did the test the same way uh, for consistency and to keep it um, the, the test so that it made sense because different parts of the screen can react differently. Uh, the angle of my hand uh, in different spots can make it jitter more and there's all sorts of variables. Anyway, so here, this is the HB nib from Renacer. That is um, this one right here, the stock one that comes with the uh, surface. It's a little gray tip one. Uh, that one, you can see right here, H is the plastic tip. That's this guy. Um, you can see it's just plastic. And it's a smaller head than the uh, 2H. That's this one right here. And I see actually a little bit more jitter here. You can see between these two. Um, this is the HB on the Microsoft one. This is the H here and I, I think there's slightly more jitter. All of it is really negligible. Um, this is the Uogic um, one. That's actually, I'm sorry, the first one I showed you is Uogic. And I don't think there's any difference between the Uogic one and the Renacer nib. So I, I would definitely not say that. The Surface Pen has some problems with tilt. So you can see some of this tilt uh, issues right here that's that's showing up and, and really shouldn't be showing up. The plastic nib, there was problems with tilt um, with the plastic nib, with the cheap uh, H1. So if you see like a pack of 20 uh, nibs for a stylus, for a Surface Stylus, and they're like 10 bucks for 20, it's probably these cheap H style plastic ones. Uh, the HP from Uogic, again, similar. Um, 2H from Microsoft, let me show you that. That's this red band one. Uh, here, let's go ahead and change the focus here. 2H is this red band with the um, big triangle top. And 
the 2H from Microsoft, which is the one that has the red bottom to it, uh, which I showed in the video. Uh, you can see right here. Is, uh, and I don't think there's any difference between those at all. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm showing you here the uh, Renacer one. Here is the Microsoft one. I think the difference, the biggest difference comes in the pen, not the nibs. So here you can see beautiful lines actually from the old, uh, old Renacer, old Raphael pen. Uh, this is the broken nib. So let me actually demonstrate that. Uh, this is highly broken. You can see um, it's broken. The plastic has come out, uh, away here. Mm, can we see it? There we go. Yeah. So chewed up, broken, little bits of plasticky or elastomer sticking out at weird angles and everything. So let's go ahead and try this one. I'm gonna take it out of the R520. Insert this. And uh, you can see right here. And yes, I do all of my testing in OneNote. Um, the lines are fine in other programs, but I like that OneNote's consistent against all across all platforms and is updated the same way. And you know, let's do the same one with the Surface Stylus. So you can see it. And change it to red. And you can see it's really it's the same quality. It's the same quality as we're seeing over here with a perfectly good um, nib from Microsoft. Okay, here's the Microsoft nib, the new one. Here you can see right here. Again, the same problem with tilt. I have two of these and both of them uh, are just, just not as good as the R520. All right, and then I did a test with a generic two button one. This is one just from Amazon as two buttons with the ones labeled uh, right click and invert. And you can see the lines are broken. There's no tilt. Just so you guys can see some of the different quality here. This is the Adonit ink, uh, the ink M, uh, no tilt, but the line quality was actually decent here as well, which um, one note stabilizes the lines a little bit, but it still shows you consistency between the styluses. So you can see the same thing. All right, I'm going to zoom out. And over here, let's do a quick test with one more nib here so you can see. All right, this is the 2H nib. Let's go ahead and go right here. Trying to vary the tilt. Oh, it looks really good today. And let's try this in the Renacer stylus. Let's change it to orange. And let's go ahead and just delete all these for right now. All right, so here you can see the, this one, again, clacky is really the difference. It glides, it feels like a ballpoint pen on the screen versus feeling like a pencil on the screen or as close to you, as you can get to a pencil currently. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If there's something that you wanted me to test that I didn't test, uh, feel free to uh, comment below and 
and I'll see if I can answer those questions right away. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, stay creative.